Hi guys, I'm Phil Snow, the Fat Loss and Performance Coach. Wow! Today's video then is all about portion control. Now, if you follow kind of any of my stuff, you know that I'm not really down with the whole calorie counting thing. To be honest, I can't be asked with it. I don't do it, so I don't promote it. Uh, depending on what level of client is, then yeah, if you want to kind of count calories, that's absolutely fine. That's down to you. But to be honest, for a lot of the people I work with, just don't have time. We're not interested in it. So we have to look at it from a very different perspective. Okay. Now, if we look at calories being energy. Just change the mindset a little bit. Look, let's reduce the energy that we're putting in, okay? So if we're reducing the energy that we're putting in, i.e. reducing the amount of food, i.e. reducing the portion sizes that we're putting in, and the, the, the consistency that we're doing that as well, then we're obviously gonna be losing more weight because if you're over consuming calories and energy, then you're more likely to store more body fat, especially if you're not burning it off, okay? Simple facts. So. The first way that you can reduce your portion sizes and carry anything on my fitness power is by reducing your plate size, okay? Very, very simple. Even if you're going out for a, 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 like a, a takeaway or a McDonald's or something like that and they say, would you like to go large? No, don't go large. All right, very simple. That's already cutting the calories down, cutting the energy down, cutting your portion sizes down. If you're preparing your own meals, then use a smaller plate, okay? Physically, you can't put as much food on there. So if you're not putting on as much food, that's less calories, that's less portion sizes, that's less in your tummy, that's less likely you're gonna get tummy, all right? Um, so that's one top tip, okay? Reduce the, uh, the plate size, okay? Very, very simple, and don't go large. The next one is, Eat up until 80% full, okay? So, 80% full. If you're finding that you have to undo your belt buckle, i.e. you are so full up, and you're still trying to make room to get food in your belly, well, guess what? You've taken on too many calories, eating well over uh, the energy intake that you require, and obviously you've been increasing your portion size way too much, okay? So think about that, guys. Only eat to about 80% full. That's when you can't control your plate size, obviously. The next one is eat slower, okay? Aim to eat between 15 and 20 minutes. It takes up to 20 minutes for your body to send signals from your stomach to your brain to say, oh, I'm full up now. So if you're scoffing away food, then by Joe, you're more likely to pile more in, okay? Um, so just think about that. And also, that's just reminding me, if you're particularly hungry, all right, then, um, and you've been waiting so long since you've eaten something, then you're again gonna be uh, throwing more food in your face and likely to go over your portion limit, okay? Or even your energy intake, okay? Now guys, if you wanna go counting calories, that's absolutely fine. You don't have to make it that tricky. And here's a question I pose to you. If I presented to you with a steak at a restaurant, could you tell me how many calories in that steak, in that particular steak, just by looking at it? Fitness professionals, nutritionists? No, probably not. So it's not a real practical, functional um, application of counting calories, is it? And you don't walk around with a bomb calorimeter, i.e. something that measures the calories in the food, so you can't measure that. So sometimes we have to look at other strategies, okay? Keep it simple, stupid. Reduce your plate size. Eat to 80% full. Eat slower. Guys, hope that's helped out. Start with that, keep it real.